And entering the 1970 season, the Cubs' Ernie Banks needed three home runs to reach 500. The dramatic countdown started at Wrigley Field. There's a high fly deep to left. Miller and Wynn are both back, back, back. Hey, hey! It's a home run for Banks. Get a boy, Ernie. Here's Ernie. That's it. That's way back there. Back, back, back. Hey, hey. Ernie did it. Number 499. Tuesday, May the 12th, 1970. And Ernie Bank comes to bat with two out and nobody on in the Cub half of the second inning against Atlanta. Score, Atlanta two, the Cubs nothing. Ernie Banks hitting 241 at the moment. Two home runs, 13 runs batted in. 499 lifetime homers. Here we go. Foul ball, strike one. He has narrowly missed getting a home run the last couple of days with triples high off that wall and left. Strike one. It's a ball, one and one. Wind is not a big factor. It's out of the southeast at seven miles an hour. Jarvis fires away. That's a fly ball deep to left. Back, back. That's it. That's it. Hey, hey. He did it. Ernie Banks got number 500. A line drive shot into the seats and left. The ball tossed to the bullpen. Everybody on your feet. This is it. Here's the replay on it. Waist high, good line drive shot. Here it is, going into those seats in slow motion. Made it, just over the wall, bounced in and out. And here is one of the great moments in baseball history in the United States of America, and particularly in Chicago.